Okay, so we are back to uh, sequential voting and the same table, the same preference order uh, that we had before, nothing changed. S2 is the worst for board member number one, who is the CEO, and S1 is the best for him, etc., etc. And now again, suppose that the votes are open and taken in a sequence. First, B1 announces his choice, then B2 announces her choice, and then B3 announces his choice. But we are under the same assumption that B1, the CEO, has the extra power. I claim the winning strategy is S3. So the question is, um, I mean, how do we get there? So let me try to, before moving on, we can go on with the explanation. We'll read it together later on. And uh, I want to say the following. So B1 starts. So I want to know what B1 should announce. So he's not going, out, he's not going to announce the S2 because S2, if selected, is really bad for him. So he can select either S1 or S3 Taking into account, but he has to take into account how this is going to trigger the reaction of B2 and B3. So, I mean, so let's start with uh, the best for him, which is S1. I will show you that S1 is not a good strategy for B1. Why? Suppose that he selects S1, namely the, the excellent for him. Now, two has to make a choice. So two, if two selects S3, let's say the excellent for her, okay? Then, then it doesn't matter what three does. Three for sure is not going to select. So I'm assuming, suppose B2 selects S3, the excellent. B3 is not going to select S3 because the S3 will get a majority and it's bad for him. If he selects S2, no majority, Okay, if you select S2, no majority, and therefore the selection of one is going to be implemented, namely S1 is going to win, which is good for player three. If he selects good, it's also S1 is going to win. Okay, why? Because um, there is a majority for S1. Okay, so it doesn't matter if three selects this one or this one. If you select S1, the majority for S1, good for him. If he selects S2, no majority, we go by no majority because B1 selects S1, B, B2 selects S3, and, uh, and B3 selects uh, S2, no majority. So who wins the selection of the CEO, which is S1? Again, good. So it doesn't matter what, the other result will be S1, bad for two. So what we conclude that if S1 starts and going for the excellent, then B2 is not going to select the excellent. Why? Because if she's going to select the excellent, then no matter what three does, going S1 or S2, the S1 is going to be selected and this is bad for B2. So B2 understand all this and says, if she heals S1, she's not going to select S3, she's not going to select S1. So she's going to select S2. So let's see by now what we have. We concluded that if B1 select S1, B2 has no choice but to select S2, in which case, for sure, after the selection of B2, B3 hears that B2 select S2, he immediately select also S2, and S2 has a majority, and S2 is going to win. If S2 is going to win, this is bad for the CEO. So after all this argument, the CEO has to understand that it's not good for him to select S1 because he is going to end up with the bad, S2 will be selected eventually and it's bad for him. So after he cannot, he's not going to select S2, he's not going to select S1, so he is going to select S3. But now two hears that one selected S3, S3 is the excellent for two, she's also going to select S, uh, S3, 
and doesn't matter what three does, S3 is selected, bad for three, good for one, excellent for two. So if the sequence is first S1, as first B1, then B2, then B3, then actually uh, S3 is going to be selected. Now we can take another order, but first let's read what we have, just to make sure. It's not easy, you have to think strategically, like chess. If I do that, what he will do, then what she will do, blah, blah, blah. Suppose first, okay, uh, you have to have the table next to you, uh, so... So let's say that this is B1, B2, B3. And this is S1, S2, S3. The order was E, G, no. Let me see again. E, B, G. E, B, G. And then it was B, G, E. B, G, E, and it was here, E, B, G. Okay, now we can see it and we can say, then clearly B2, so suppose first B1 votes S1. Then clearly B2 will not vote her worst case, namely also S1, okay? Uh, because S1 will have a majority, this, uh, I mean, for her, the worst. Okay, so she can vote if she can vote either S2 or S3. If she votes S3 for S3, then B3 is not going to vote also S3 because S3 will win and it's worse for him. So he may again in in both. If she votes for S3, then B3 who votes after her will vote either S1 or S2. He's not going to vote this. He's going to vote either this or this. In both cases, S1 wins. Why? If he votes this one and she voted this one, there is no majority. And B1 voted for that, there's no majority. In which case, B1 wins. I mean, S1, the selection of B1 wins, S1. But S1, in that case, is, uh, is good for B3. And if he goes for, uh, for instead of this, he goes for S1, S1 is a majority and again wins. So if she goes, if two goes down to S3, S1 for sure wins. And this is war, so she's going to end with the worst case scenario for her. So she understand it and she say, no way that I'll vote for S3. So if one votes for S1, two is going to select S2. But then immediately after she says S2, three for sure will say S, S2 because then S2 wins and uh, because it has a majority, okay? And, but if this, this is the case, this is the bad outcome for the board member number one who start to announce first. So he's going to announce not S1, for sure not S2, so we conclude that consequently B1 will not, will not vote for S1 and clearly not for S2, so B1 votes for S3. So he votes for S3. But if he votes for S3, then two comes, then two will also vote for S3 because then it, S3 will be winning and she, uh, and, uh, uh, she gets the excel for her. So S3 is going to win. So consequently, B1 vote for S3, and also immediately after, B2 votes for S3, and S3 is the winner. Okay, so I can take this out now. After all this, okay. And, uh, and uh, we, we go over. So now uh, you have, by the way, in your problem set, you have several uh, solutions with the sequential order and, uh, and uh, you're most welcome to see and then uh, you'll have also in, in your homework. Um, so that is 
the remark that I put, by the way, exercise show that S3 will be selected if the order in which the board members vote is B1, B3, B2. Uh, everything under the assumption that B1 has the power. Okay, and S2 will be selected if the orders are B2, B1, B3, or B2, B3, B1, or B3, B2, B1. Show that S1 will be selected if the order is B3, then B1, then B2. You know what? Let's do this exercise. So remember the order B3, B1, B2. So let me look on this one, okay? And the order is, I write it here, B3, B1, B2. B1, B2, what did we say just to be B1, B2? Now let's see what happens. So who starts? Three. Three is not going to start with this one. It's bad for him. Let's assume that he starts with the excellent for him. Okay, let's say that B3 selects S2. Now he has to observe what B1 will do. Okay, so if B1, B1 for sure will not go for S2. And what happens if B1 selects, a, so I'm under the assumption that B3 selects S2. And I want to see what is going to be the next. So here I'm assuming for a second that he selects excellent. The, the S2, which is excellent for him. How B1 is going to be respond to that? For sure not with S2, because that will be bad. Either with S1 or S3, okay? If he selects, let's start with S3 first. If B1 selects S3, what will happen? Okay, S3, which is G for him. Okay, let's say he select this one. Then two is called to play. But he knows, by the way, we could do it before, we could see it before, that, that if three selects excellent, the S2, uh, okay. So let's say that he selects, uh, B1 selects S3. Then now B2, B2 for sure will select S3. Okay, and therefore what will happen? Three is going to get bad. Okay, so, uh, uh, so three will not like it if B1 select G. So what happens if uh, B1 selects S1, then B2 is going to select, if B2 select S3, no majority, S1 is selected, bad for her. So she's going to select G, okay? And then the worst, the, this is going to be worse for one, and therefore, uh, um, one is going to get what? A, a, a bad outcome. So again, let me summarize what we get. If B1 selects, uh, if B3, sorry. Uh, let, me, let me go back. So I'm assuming that B3 start with S3. Now I have to go to B1. If B1 selects S1, let's, uh, if B1 selects S3 first, okay, then what happens? Two uh, will select S3, S3 is chosen, okay, and uh, uh, is chosen and it's good for B1, excellent for two, but it's going to be bad for three. So if he believes, if he believes that uh, if he's going to select S3, a board member number one, okay? Then immediately two will select the same S3. S3 will be selected. And this is bad for uh, uh, B3 that select, uh, the select uh, actually uh, uh, S2. Okay, so let me put here because this is a little bit confusing. This is S, he selects S2, okay? So, uh, so, Again, if B3 selects S2, it depends on what B1 does. If B1 selects S3, B2 will select S3 again to get a majority, excellent, which is for three very bad. But maybe that actually B1 does not select S1, sorry, S3, but select S1. If he selects S1, then she's not going to, does not select S1, bad for her. 
she's going to, if she selects excellent, no majority, it's a bet for her. And actually, it's a, a no, again, no majority bet for her. So she has to select uh, S2 as well. And S2 is going to be bad for board member number one. So he does not select S3. So he is, will select not S2, not S3. He's going to select S1. But if he selects S1, if board member number one selects S1 and uh, and she sele and board member number three selects uh, 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 S two. Then board member number two will select uh, 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 will select also S two because if she select if she cannot select this one otherwise it's bad for her. She cannot select this one because no majority again bad for her. So she selects this one and this is actually excellent for uh, um, for. Um, uh, player three, but it is bad for player one, okay? So I'm a little bit confused here. I want to cut it. Not everything. Mm. Can, can I? Only for this example. Mm. Yes. Or should I cut everything? No, 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 you don't need to. But we will have uh, one very short video followed by another. Ah, you have to cut and the, okay. I can only cut the end. Okay. Everything. Okay. And we start Fine. another one. Yeah. Okay. So that will be another one. But let yeah. me see what's what's going on here. I'm a little bit. I was conf I was confused. We we talk about this. Why so this is the order. Just a second. This is the order. But why don't you do it in a tree? Because they don't know about the tree and not folding. That's in dynamic game. When I cut the dynamic game, I'll show them. And actually, I have some things like this in the problem set by the tree. But it should be simple. I don't know what happened. Uh, three can, so let's say that three selects S3. Then what, now, uh, B1 is not going to, to select, so B3 select S3. Even they don't, they don't know about dynamic it, you can also present it in a tree. Yeah, I can present, but it's, it's, it's a big tree. I can do it in the no, 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 but okay. You can do it in. You see, it's a, it's a long tree. It's a long tree. Believe me. You have 27. Uh, but you only listed the strategy. I do it. I do it in the problem set. They have two examples, or so three examples, I guess, with streams. Okay. So I don't want to. But still, you can use uh, the board. Then, then you erase it. If you want to use the pen on the whiteboard. No, believe me, it's 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 a long. Believe me. Yeah, but you can you can do it. Look, it's. Oop. Mm. Oh, hold on. But yes. you can cut one branch that. He will like one will never vote for a strategy S two. So you can cut this branch, and mm -hmm. for because one will not never vote for a bad strategy. Yeah, but I mean, so first of all, to describe the game, then you can say, okay, I delete that. But it's everything is done easily in that. Uh, it's not easy when you show it here and do the analysis. It's very easy to lose a student. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, after you do the, all this, so mm. let's say this was B3. Yes. And so you say that actually. S1, S2, you only need S1, S2. Uh, so you want to take this out too? Mm. I'll 
I will yeah, charge yeah. for you. But from here, we also need only two branches. Yeah, I know. We will also don't so now uh, that's this, uh, that this is B1. But B1, we say, is not going to react with S2, correct? Mm -hmm. So then you have only two for B, for B2. So actually here, you want to say, what is this? This is uh, S1, S2. B3, it can be S1, S2. Let's let's use a different color. And one can react with two or three. Yes. Uh, it should be two. And B2 will react two or three, eh? Oh, that's B1. B1. B2 can do... Okay, this is a mistake. S2, S3. Oh, yeah, this one, is a mistake. One, no, three. B1 is S1, S2. S1, S3. And two, S2, S3. And now you have to write B3, B1, B2. Yeah, so you have to write the winning strategy. S1, the winning strategy S1, and, yes. and what is it? It is EBG. Okay, let me do it nicely. Yeah. So I'll do... Meanwhile, you do the, the tree, because I'm not going to... What was the... E, B, G, B, G, E, G, B. I don't understand, maybe I made a mistake, that's why I was confused. <laughs> 